Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm really excited to announce a blog hop. This blog hop is taking place at the Ton Stamps. They are celebrating their four year anniversary of creating some beautiful stamp sets and die cuts. You really don't want to miss out on this blog hop. They're having four days of um, hops and a lot of inspiration and some amazing giveaways that you really don't want to miss. Um, they are also releasing some really fun stamp sets to go with their four-year anniversary and I am going to be using one of those stamp sets. It's called the Hustle and Grind. I love the stamp set. The phrases on there are just adorable and it's going to work out perfectly to document one of my crazy days out of the week. Now I have really really busy days but this one tops them all. I got so much done in one day when I looked back, I was like, now this day has to be documented. I took my son to the doctors for flu shots. I um, went grocery shopping. I got to Skype with my sister. I just got a lot of things done in such a small amount of time um, and worked on a project with my kids, just little things like that. And I just really wanted to document them. And my day started really, really early. So what I decided to do was use these really small photos to document kind of tidbits from my day and to bring in a little bit of something to the right side of my spread. I didn't want it to be just jam packed with photos. I decided to use some black and white pattern paper. Now I'm not gonna be like backing up every single photo. I'm just adding the pattern paper randomly just to bring in some of that black from the left side of my spread. Now, especially that the pattern paper from the left side of my spread is really bright and colorful. I really didn't feel like I needed to bring in a lot of color to the right side. But I'm gonna move around my photos a bunch of times. Um, I'm not really used to using so many photos on one side of my traveler's notebook. So you're gonna see me shift and move them a bunch of times. And this is where my amazing tape runner comes in. I love this stuff, I've said this before. What I love about it is it sticks down your photos really well, but when you wanna move them, it's not gonna tear your paper. It will come off very easily. And if there's any tape left on the spread, you just rub it off and it will come off. So it's just perfect, perfect tape runner. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start sticking down my pictures, even though I end up shifting and moving them around a bunch of times. But once I stick them down, I will use that beautiful hustle and grind stamp set to stamp out a few fun phrases around my photos. So I wanna to try to fit in this rise and grind right next to my picture. So I'm gonna move it, or I actually re completely remove it off my spread and then stamp down rise and grind. I also wanna stamp hustle like a boss, live like a queen. And I wanna add it to the bottom part of my spread just to kind of balance out the phrases with the pictures and all that good stuff. So this is where I'm gonna end up shifting a lot of the pictures and try to figure out how to move them around, still balance them out while adding these phrases. And what I like about that stamp, it's two separate stamp sets. So you can either stamp hustle like a boss, live like a queen, or you can add king. So whatever works for you. But of course, I felt like a queen that day. I got a lot of things done. So I'm gonna stamp queen. Now I'm not gonna add any more phrases to the bottom part of my spread, so I'm good to go by adding my photos and calling that part done, uh, because at this point I know I don't need to shift them again. But once I like how they look and how I have my little collage of photos, I am gonna use the chevron stamps and the triangles from the stamp set to add a little pattern to back up my photos and my um, pattern paper, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, and by the way, I grabbed that tag because I think I'm gonna use it to add my title. But for now, I'm gonna use those chevron stamps and the triangles to add a little pattern to my spread. And I love that the chevron worked perfectly with my chevron pattern paper on the left side of my spread.
Now I love this stamp that says hustle and I want to bring in a different color to the right side so I'm going to stamp it out in some yellow ink. I really like how that turned out and this will really help me go through my embellishments and bring in some yellow to like in between my photos and my phrases. But for now I'm going to stamp my title. I end up stamping keep calm and hustle harder. It's really nice how just adding this white tag and stamping my title on it really helped mute down the brightness and colors from the left side of my spread. Uh, just adding that little tag made a big difference. I'm just gonna end up adding my twine and I'll stick down my tag and call that side of my spread done. I'm not gonna add anything else. The right side is really, really busy, so I need to keep the left a little bit calmer. I will grab my embellishments. I'm gonna end up adding some yellow and black puffy stickers um, in between my photos. I'm also gonna grab my stickers. I found some stickers in black and white and it said AM, PM, which was perfect. I'm gonna end up adding those and I believe I add a little sticker that says today and it just brought in a lot of yellow to the right side of my spread. And I really love that combo of black and yellow and white. It's just, it always works in my head. But anyways, uh, once I'm done adding my embellishments, I really wanted to use the stamp from the stamp set. And it said, don't just wish for it, work for it. I just really wanted to use it. So I end up grabbing that stamp and stamping it right on top of my hustle. Um, I really like how it turned out and I don't at the same time. I think like you can't really see the word hustle. But you know what? I'm not going to bother with it. I got to stamp out my favorite phrase, so I'm just going to go with it. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to grab my crystal drops and add a few drops here and there and call my layout done. I love how the spread turned out. I was able to document one crazy day throughout my week or my month, and I will always remember all these crazy things I got done in one day. The stamp set totally helped me document it. But anyways, don't forget, there's so much to see on the Ton blog. There's the hops, there's inspiration, there's a lot of fun giveaways and some new stamp sets to choose from. So definitely check it out. I will add a link in the description box for you guys. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.